Well, welcome to The Boiling Point. Today we're going to talk about exhaust gases as we have been doing for the last three or four boiling points. And we're going to go with the barometric damper today. So Jude is going to take us through that. Hope you enjoy. Today we're going to talk about barometric dampers. These are often found on boilers or gas-fired equipment that either have stacks over 30 feet or are atmospherically fired. The point of a barometric damper is to give a boiler a constant pressure or negative pressure or draft at the outlet of a boiler. The draft on a boiler without a barometric damper would be completely determined by the height of the stack, the temperature outside, and the firing rate of the boiler. And because all those things vary, a barometric damper gives us a tool to help make those more constant. For example, if we close this barometric damper completely, we'll see a very high draft reading on this piece of equipment. A draft reading this significant could result in excess air going through the burner. It could, it could cause pilot problems and other issues. So by adding a barometric damper, we allow air to actually bypass the piece of equipment, dilute the stack, and reduce the amount of draft or pull on the boiler. But just putting on a barometric damper isn't enough because putting this on gives us a relatively random pressure on the unit. So what I'm going to demonstrate is how adding weights properly to the barometric damper assembly can establish whatever outlet pressure or draft we desire. So we can start off with just a very little amount of weight and we'll see a resulting increase in draft. Where we want our draft to end up being is actually determined by the type of equipment we have, the type of burner, etc. If you're in doubt, you can look at either the startup documentation from the factory for the burner or just the installation and startup manual for the piece of equipment. A typical outlet draft pressure that we may want to maintain would be uh, a draft of 0.1 inches on the outlet. And basically that amount of draft at the outlet is going to ensure that I don't have back pressure generated by the stack and that I don't have a large amount of draft generated by the stack. So it really gives us a neutral stack that we are firing into. Now we've got a draft that's almost a tenth of an inch. And what we'll see is that even if we vary the airflow through our draft system, we'll maintain that same draft or very close to it. I can simulate a change in the firing condition or the barometric conditions by blocking the outlet of the fan. And what we'll see is the barometric damper is going to move but it's going to maintain approximately the same draft on the piece of equipment. And then when the situation reverts, it's still going to have that stable stack condition. So if you walk in your boiler room and the weights from your barometric damper are all lying on top of the unit, there's a good chance that you're not getting the appropriate draft for the piece of equipment. You could have sooting as a result or just a lack of efficiency or a reduction in reliability. Well, appreciate Jude talking about the barometric damper. Now it is getting cold. No, well, not yet, getting close, but winter is coming. And are you ready? Make sure you go out, check out boilerwarehouse.com, 40,000 parts online, get your parts stocked up. We really feel like it's gonna be a pretty uh, busy winter with service from the COVID. A lot of people have been putting some things off and we feel like that there's going to be a uh, pretty busy time. So whether you get with boilerwarehouse.com or anywhere else, make sure your boiler rooms are full of parts ready to go. Along with that, if you don't have the parts, sometimes you actually have um, potential rental boilers that you have to have. Make sure you have a contingency plan set up so that it will eliminate labor um, when you're trying to do something through the night, if you don't have all the pre-piping and wiring ready to go, it can cost you a lot of money. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you don't mind, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, share those videos. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.